No, like, guys, guys, why are you acting surprised right now? Hey, Roxy, you are not wearing glasses from before. Why? Wow. Ah, Roxy. Ah, they wear them a long time. I just, I just want to look different. <laughs> oh, different, yeah, and come bra, bra, bra. Eh, size 32D, 32D. Eh, different, yeah, bra. Eh, guys, what do you think? What do you think? What do you think? Talk to me. Eh, Raymond, what do you think? She's, uh, she. Eh, yeah, hey, hey, <laughs> hey, eh, she's here. Yeah. Your date is here. Yeah, yeah so. So keep it general. <laughs> She looks very beautiful in that outfit. She's a very pretty lady. Yeah. Uh, what were you going to say before? <laughs> <laughs> say it. Next time, next time. <laughs> I don't fear. <laughs> That's one. Talk to me. <laughs> you know, she looks wonderful. She's, she looks amazing. She looks... Ah, mm -hmm. uh, wait. That's one. That's one. Where from, where, where, wait. That's one. That's one. Where from the accent? E W P T. This was such a character. Uh, so look, talk to me. Big boss. Yeah, this Abna Hoko. This is a complete woman. A complete woman. Like complete. Yeah. Because like you look at her, you see badness. You see some lady like yeah, you know. So things. she can be naughty and all the good and all the other things. I beg, I don't want to say much. <laughs> You they fear. Okay. All right. So, guys, you know how this plays out. All right. And uh, finally, I want to find out from you, Abna, what you make of my guys. Okay. I've been paying so much attention already. You know, I've been observing from the dancing, you know. Yeah. Some got so much energy. Some are so innovative. Some are so creative, you know, yeah. very versatile in so many other ways. I like, you know, your sense of style. Um, you know, some are unique, you know, some are trying to create a certain statement. Yeah. Yeah, I've been, I've been observing all, yeah, That's I've right. been observing all. Yeah. So, the amazing gentleman, you know, um, I wish I were on a date, because right now, like, I was actually choosing a date and it wasn't charity. Hey. Of course, of course, like, of hey, course, hey, of hey, course, hey, hey, hey. of course, because I've seen some, you know, Amazing gentleman, you know. Yeah, yeah. Chai! Okay. I'm going to allow Max to have the final say. I deliberately slow down on you. Yeah, because some Fatima give me some eye for the back, the way I mean I respect social distance. <laughs> but I'm back. Magada Vim. Uh, Max, talk to me. Okay. She's breathtaking. Ultimate fantasy. All day, every day. Hey! This guy. This guy. You don't like peace. <laughs> hey, 2021, you don't like peace. <laughs> Giovanni, not in a Morios way. <laughs> I've been watching her on TV3 okay. every Saturday, yeah, Lady, Lady Psycho, uh -huh. and I like how she expresses herself. It's very good. Uh -huh. She's very vulnerable, and I like that. Okay, all right. I love that. I love that you love that. All right, I love that you love that. Keep it at love that. Eh? Don't go far. Keep it at what? Love that. Thank you. All right, well, tonight is very different. I'm sure you've got a big heart for charity as well. Yeah. The reason you agreed yeah. to be on our platform and we are humbled. Uh, well, my gentlemen here tell me that, Charlie, they, nah, they want to support you. <laughs> Just give them a day. Um, They'll I'm be glad. there and support you, put smiles on the faces of uh, the needy and yeah. less privileged in our society. Yeah. All right, so Abena, we're going to ask them questions. Yeah, based on the answers they give to you, you come down here and put out two rushes. Okay. All right. Well, it's not about right or wrong answer here. It's what your list interested in. Sure. Okay. Yeah. If it's not what you expected from them, sure. put it off. I know it sounds very heartbreaking, but we have yeah. to do it. It's all about fun tonight because the guys are poised. Anna, what's it doing? Energy, no, Anna. All right. So, guys, money and affection, which is more important to a woman? We're hearing this from you guys. Which is more important to a woman? Shika, a guy, money, and affection. All right, I want to start from uh, <laughs> Kinsley. Kinsley, talk yeah, to me. Joe. Yeah, money and affection. Okay, um, normally, normally I would say money complements affection, but since the question 
demands me to pick one, I can only talk from experience, uh -huh. how I've experienced ladies. So to me, the women in my life or Who have been in your life? Yeah. Yeah? Prefer affection to money, so I'm picking affection. They pick affection. Based okay. on that, I'll generalize affection. All right. Yeah. For me, I will say it's money. Money? Money. Okay. They really love money. When you are rich, no matter, no matter the caliber of person you are, you get a date. You get, you get someone who will love you uh -huh. when you are rich, when uh -huh. you, are, you have money. Uh -huh. That's what I will say. All right, next one. Well, I believe it's affection. Yes, because... Um, like I always say, you know, what you, you make people feel, okay, yeah. is what matters, you understand. But then when you look at affection and money, affection has an element of money in it. When you look at the spelling A-F-F-E, you understand, money, M-O-N-E-Y, you understand. So there's an element of money in affection, all right. So when you, when you give your woman, okay, the woman affection, you feel like you should give her your world, your everything. So you complement that with the money. You understand? So affection first, how you make her feel, and then money. You understand? There's more. There's more. Small alarm cash out. Today they explain, they explain, they explain. <laughs> eh? Pay the girl and stop that thing. <laughs> All right, so look. Let's hear you. Money and affection. I think it's affection. Some women really love money, but then when you give them the affection, they can even ignore the richest guy in their life and then focus on you. Oh, wow. Yeah, so Interesting. Interesting. Affection. All right, Roxen. I think it's money. Oh, yeah? Because, you know, women love be, um, being pretty, beautiful. All the fine things in you life. Know. Mm. So if... You don't give them money. How are they going to be beautiful and stuff? If you give them affection, what is affection going to do for them? <laughs> I'm talking from um, um, experience. They love money. So yeah. I think it's money. David. So I'll settle for affection. Okay. In the sense that, you know, um, affection is, is, is something you can't buy, right? You can, you can be the richest guy in the world in Charlie. You, can, you know, there are some guys who are so rich and then they mistreat women, yeah. they abuse women. How, how do you expect the woman to feel around you all the time if she's always after your money? Yeah. But if I am that low-key guy who gives you the affection, the love, the care all the time, Charlie, you'd always like to be around me. Mm. He gets it. So, yeah, Charlie, you get the do, but I get the affection. Philip. I think affection because um, my past relationship, mm -hmm. I was all about the money aspect. I give her money every time. You make her feel good. Yeah. You just spoil her. So it might it all be money, 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 money. But with the affection, even without money. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and you spend quality time with her. Yeah, quality time with your woman. Like be there for her. Like yeah. give her all the attention she needs and yeah. show her love. Yeah. That's all. Yeah. Not money. Interesting. Interesting. Interesting to know. Mark? Let me try to generalize everything. Money is important, mm -hmm. okay? But relationship... It's important. That, that, that's what I'm trying to say. Let me generalize. Okay. In human, we need affection. Mm. Either be in a platonic or intimate relationship, yeah. we need affection in a point of our life. You can have the money, you can have the riches, but you don't have the affection, it affects you in a way. So which are you going for? So I'm going for affection. You go affection for is the paramount of everything. Wow. All right, Giovanni, I'll say, you know, a happy woman demands less. When a woman is happy, she demands less. Peace of mind. So that is why there are some women out there, they are dating guys with everything, yet they still end up flirting with guys who don't give them anything, but they make them happy. Mm. So a happy woman demands less. So I think it's affection for me. Affection for you. Yeah. All right, Kofi, you have the final say. Okay, I would say money, because... You're, you can't be in you can't be in a relationship with a lady and not give her money. I mean, who does that? You should at least be able to spread her, like make her happy. Although you should have some affection for her, yeah. you should have some money. I'm not saying you should be overly yeah. rich, but I, at least you should be able to support her. You get it. You should be able to support her. So I'm just gonna see, money. give a freestyle with that. You okay. get it. So okay. like. As a man, I need to get money. So I'm just going to say, 
money the bank at the spend. Sika wa dem e your bed. Couple dollars at the end. Me dana me sorry ya. Me bumpa e chichi me Syria. Sika sell e da first. Unye sika you the brain. Everyone want tell your friend. Your chairman no fi contest. Now we me I understand. Say money comments. Ah, and the money comments, yo, yo, boss, 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 yo. Forgot to give me instrument. Boss, money comments. Abuna comment. Yeah. So Abuna, there you have it. All 10 of them trying to impress you with their answers. Well, as I said earlier, there is no right or wrong answer. Because even in the comment section, people are confused. Yeah. People are commenting and liking their own comment. They will delete and bring it back the same thing. <laughs> you, can, you can only imagine what's happening right now for those of us watching from home. So please, by all means, put two rushes off. Or, yeah, or you want to say something before that? Okay. So, you know, I have like... My first three dates already eesh, in my head. Eesh, 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 One has already eesh. sort of disappointed me. What? But, <laughs> you know, you know, um, sometimes you need an imperfect something to, you know, so that you can teach him something. Eesh. So it's okay. All right. Uh, yeah, it's so okay. you, you have your top two now? I, no, I've not taken him out, okay. but yeah. All yeah. right. Fallacy, it don't happen. I want to ask you again. I'm used to your answers. <laughs> Ten heartbreaks on this show. I'm used to your answers. <laughs> Ali. <laughs> it also. <laughs> Ali. Hello. Eh. It happened. Oh. oh. I did. It's kind of shit. Eh. You are there. Your date in prayers come inside. Oh. She was, she's even happy now. Extremely happy. Extremely happy. Yeah, she's very I can happy. See. <laughs> but it's all good. Okay. Yeah. Abna. Uh, are you okay with your choices now? Yeah, I'm okay with my You're yeah, sure? I would like to give a comment. Okay. So, first of all, you know, most of them gave their answers because of experience. Yeah. Those experiences you had, what kind of relationship were you looking for? Is it a woman to settle down with or a woman to have fun with? Okay. If it's a woman to have fun with, you definitely, definitely need money. But if it's a woman to start life with, to, you know, build a legacy with, Affection should always be a priority. No matter how rich you are, you know, there can be, life is like, you know, the way a pendulum moves. If you did mm -hmm. physics, mm -hmm. the way the wavelength moves is up and mm -hmm. down. When was it just, yes, um, uh, uh, just, you know, somewhere in January, um, Elon Musk was not the, the world's, like, you know, richest billionaire. He was just, you know, moved up and somebody's down. So you need to give affection Expect to receive affection so that no matter what life throws at you, you know you have your woman. But if it's for fun, you know, you're taking her to Dubai, whatever, you know, you have to have the chang chang and, you know, all the zeros and all that. Yeah. Don't be single again. Don't be single again. That's all I wrote down for you. Don't be single again. A round of applause for Abena, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very much, Abena. Let's link to her second video. We'll be right back to continue. Relationships can be quite challenging. And I would say no matter how bad the last relationship was, you must always have a positive outlook. The energy you give out is what you're going to receive. So guys, give yourself an opportunity to fall in love, be in love, and be loved. But one thing I've realized when it comes to young ladies or my own experience, Whenever a guy meets us or whenever a guy, you know, proposes friendship or a relationship, we are quick to put all our eggs in one basket. Don't be quick to label somebody as your boyfriend or your significant other. Give it time. Learn something about him. Learn something about yourself whilst you're with him. And give yourself other opportunities to date other people. Dating is different from being in a relationship. Give yourself the opportunity. Date so many people so that you learn what you really want and who is perfect for you. Never ever put your eggs, precious eggs, in one basket. That's something I have for you. Hmm. 
<laughs> Welcome back to Day Trash. Well, tonight we're having fun with familiar faces. Well, these gentlemen, they are all hooked. Yeah, all of them are hooked. Yeah, from this same show with our celebrity guest today, Abna Koko. And she's telling her a lot of things. She's got enough to share, enough love to give away. So together with one lucky guy from tonight's episode, they're embarking on the charity project. They're supporting an orphanage with enough, uh, especially uh, all the backing from our sponsors. Once again, a round of applause for Rush Energy Drink, please. Please, a round of applause for them. And of course, to Enapa Mackerel. Again, Casa Preco Carnival Liqueur, Notes Cosmetics, Heaven Black, Insecticide Spray, and uh, Mosquito Coil, NS Ointment, and Enapa, Enapa, Enapa. All right, guys, are you ready for the second question? Oh, you sure? This one who has a question, you start sweating, my uh, guy. Relax, you don't know deck, yeah? Relax, cool down. Okay. Is there anything that would make a man faithful and loyal to his spouse or partner? Um, Kofi, you want to give it a try? Yeah. Okay. Um, men are different, very different. Mm. So if a man wants to stay, he's going to stay. It depends on how you're going to treat him. And then this one thing is your attention. Mm. Although ladies need attention from men, Men also need attention from ladies. Wow. So if you are with a girl and then she gives you all the attention, you're going to stay. Okay. Yeah. Interesting. Round of applause for him, ladies and gentlemen. Mark. Okay. The other attributes plays a role in it. Mm. But to me, I think secured. Security. If the man feels secured, mm. no matter what you do, the man will stick by you. Wow. So security plays Men a role. want security. Wow, interesting. Interesting that you mentioned because... A lot of people think men should be giving it, you know, and not taking it. It's good that you mentioned that men need it too. You bob. Philip. Okay, um, so I want to reveal a secret. One thing to keep a man, one secret to keep a man is to treat him as a son and you'll stick there forever. Wow, interesting. Ray. There's really nothing like something a woman should do to keep a man or anything a woman should do that will make a man faithful mm. to her. Mm. It all dwells or boils down to that same man. Okay. You know, some people have their own past. Maybe yeah. they might have gone through a toxic relationship mm -hmm. or maybe, uh, you know, a bitter ex and all that. Yeah. You know, so all these things account into whether a man will become faithful to you or not. Yes. Uh, David. Yeah, yeah. Yes, You're still uh, on. Sure. I would settle with um, peace of mind. Yeah. Um, wherever there is peace, there is understanding, there is love. To keep a man, once you are able to give him that peace of mind, wherever he roams, he surely come back home. Mm. They say home is where the heart yeah, is. is. Exactly. So I'll settle with peace of mind and respect. I'll settle on respect as well. All right. So yes, and it's reciprocal, right? Okay. So give me that respect, I give the respect. And, you know, there's that smooth ride in that relationship. Okay. Communication as well. Love that. Love so that. I'll settle on these three. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Kinsley? Okay. Giovanni. Yeah. Um, firstly, I would say um, there is no law to keep a man. No law. So meaning there's no combination you can apply. If you go stay, you go stay. But notwithstanding, there are some things you can try out. Okay. Um, the first one sounds more like a cliche, but um, I would still say it though. It is God-fearing. It is common, commonly said, you know, God-fearing. You know, but if you find a man that is truly God-fearing, you go stay. That's all. The second you one is stay. a man with principles. No be man with them for so. Like a man that genuinely owns his principles. And lastly, from the Bible, men interpret love as res um, respect as love. So respect him. He will stay. I like all that. Right. Okay. All right. I think Solomon is the last man for me. Okay. Solo and Desmond. Yeah. Um, Giovanni, I think it's respect and trust. You know, um, due to our work differences, mm -hmm. you know, like me being an actor and stuff, when I go on set, I'll meet different ladies and things. So you have to trust that I belong to you. Okay. But then if you start having doubts and then uh, you talk out of jealousy, you definitely disrespect me and yeah. you would lose me. So it's respect okay. and trust. All right. Desmond, finally. Yeah. You know, you can do everything for a man, but he can still remain unfaithful to you. Okay. But I believe that 
when, you, when there's communication and comprehension, mm -hmm. and there's respect and, um, respect and um, selflessness mm -hmm. on the side of the woman, in as much as all these factors are reciprocated, okay? I believe that when the man is deeply convinced, okay, or convicted, that he's in safe hands with a woman, and that a woman has a soft heart, mm. okay? He complies to the fact that he has to remain faithful no matter what. Okay, round of applause for them, ladies and gentlemen, please. So, well, for those of you just join us, all eight gentlemen have been trying to impress Abna Koko with the answers to their questions. All right, the winner at the end of the day, well, since you're all going out already, well, at least for now, from this show, all we require of you is a free day with her, all right? So you support that charity we'll be mentioning all night long. So, Abna, are you impressed? Quite impressed. All right. Quite impressed. You want to decide now? Um, I would say something about faithfulness okay. before I proceed. Okay. So um, I think I have two definitions for faithfulness when it comes to Ghanaian relationships. So there's me being like a man being faithful to one woman, and then there's a man being faithful to the relationship. So no matter what happens, you know, you are the woman. Mm -hmm. And that is being faithful to the relationship. And yeah. then there's being faithful to one woman. And I would say, yes, uh, from my own experiences and encounters, like, I would say respect is very key That's for right. a man. Uh -huh. It's very, very key for a man. And I think um, security, um, trust, um, yeah. Good boss. I think it still mm. boils down to respect. Okay. It All right. So what you're going to do for us now is to put... Four rushes off. Four rushes off. Based on how impressed you are, or otherwise, of the answers given. Are you ready to do that for us? I'm ready. It's going to be a very tough call, I know. Yeah, I'm Here ready. you go. They're all yours. It shocked me. It shocked me. No, it shocked me. That's why I don't shock you. Oh, it shocked me. Wow. Sick of. I said everything. She said, you understand? I included everything, you understand? I was being honest, but Charlie, we move. Oh, we move. You figure I say you blow the paper. <laughs> but you don't spoil. You don't spoil. Don't spoil. Solomon. It's okay. No. Yeah. Oh, before she says she get like three people for a mind inside. Oh, so you come out your body for inside? Not be so, but if she offer them, then it'd be cool. All right, all right. <laughs> okay, that's okay. Kofi, you are still hanging in there. If you say the rap, the rap way it works for you, Anna. <laughs> I, I don't really know. I don't really dare in mind inside, but okay. I don't be too sure. Yeah. But you're okay. I don't want to raise my hopes high right now. Made so. the exam question. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but who's through? But who's through? But Ray, you're hanging in there. Yeah. 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 Hey, Charlie, be eye contact that they see or something. <laughs> hey, look at. No, no, no. Can, can, can. Look at this I want to see something say this. Hey, my guy. My guy. <laughs> my guy. <laughs> It is what it is. It is what it is. <laughs> okay. To be fair, to be fair to my gentlemen, I'm not. Maybe you should explain your choices. I mean, yes, you have a, a reason why you kept them all. They they did amazing, okay. but it just boils down to I had to turn off four rushes. Okay. All right. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So it's it's yeah. really to the rules of the game. Yeah. Yeah. All and right. it was I was doing a what do you call it? Capulation. I was singing a rhyme in my head, and okay. when it ends on you, I just turn it off. Ah. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> Ah, 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 but, ah, ah, ah. but most that the answers were, you know, they were great. You yeah. know, for young gentlemen thinking in this light, okay. they were really great. You know, ah, answers. Ah, what do you yeah. blue bear, blue, blue bear, blue bear, blue bear. Wow. <laughs> All right, let's go for the third video. I'm on the date rush to find a perfect partner to help me give back to society. And there's no other perfect place to go than the Accra Psychiatric Hospital. I have always been passionate about mental health and I always want to give back to the mental health fraternity. Um, I, I have had a personal journey. I have worked in that field. And I've realized they are always sure when it comes to infrastructure and food for patients and staff. So there's no other excellent place than the Accra Psychiatric Hospital to give this charity to. On Date Rush, everyone deserves love and the love is big enough to share. Welcome back, welcome back, Date Rush! 
Oh, so because this is the final episode before the reunion, you've forgotten our tagline. Wow. Again, Dex Rush, everyone. That's right. And I'm, I'm loving what you're doing. I've been putting smiles on the faces. And in fact, highlighting the plights of uh, uh, anyone, all of us, suffering from mental health issues. And uh, you have a whole foundation for it. Wow, tell us more. Okay, so my foundation is Psychosocial Africa. I've been working with the Mental Health Authority, Mental Health Society of Ghana, and we support persons living with mental health problems. Uh, so it's not just the underprivileged. Okay. I have been living with bipolar disorder, and I need support from time to time, like, you know, emotional support, how to take care of myself, that kind of support. It's not always financial support. Oh, okay. Yes. So I would want to say that everybody has to pay particular attention to their mental health. Mm. We focus on our looks, you know, getting the tummy flat, the six packs, you know, all those things. But you have to, if your mind is not stable, if your mind is not high functioning, if your mind is not sound, you'll not be able to do anything at all. So we have to pay particular attention to our mental health. Your mental health can affect how you relate with people, you know, how you perform at work, how you perform in your relationships, and it's all very, very important. Don't mm. just learn for yourself. Learn so that you can relate with other people who may be having those challenges. Wow. And in Ghana, five, you know, every five Ghanaians, it's possible that one person may have experienced hey, I know a mental them here. health challenge. Wait, wait, wait. What's it there? Uh, Out of five, one. One. One of the main problems is stigma. So we don't want any finger right. pointing. Yeah. We don't want you to treat the person differently. Okay. You know, they are just one as us. Just as people have challenges, you know, when it comes to diabetes, you're having challenges with your pancreas. Yeah. When it comes to mental health, you may have, you know, a problem with your brain anatomy or the chemicals in it. Yeah. Very profound uh, statement there. And the good thing is that we're here. It's good you're sharing this with us. Because a lot of us don't know. We pretend we know, but we don't know. Do you know? No, do you know? Do you know? Yes, it's good she's here to so, tell us all so, that. So tonight, as you are Googling how to look good for that girl, uh -huh. also Google how can I keep my mental health strong? Very, very important. Or how can I support people with mental health challenges? Very, very important. A round of applause for her, please. And please, for those of you watching us from home, make sure you follow her and her foundation and support. Very, very crucial to us. Guys, so the final <laughs> four. I've got bad... I've got bad news for you. Final four. After this question, she's going to put out three rushes. Wow. So please, before you press on, on that microphone, make sure you know what you are speaking about. All right? Okay, wish you well. So please, this is very, very crucial. We actually saved this question for now because we felt that a lot of men out there, young people out there need to know this. We're asking... Do men get sexually abused? And why do you think they do not voice it out? Do men get sexually abused? Do men get raped? Do you think at any point, maybe in your working life, your school life, do you think men get sexually abused? And why do you think they do not speak out or voice out? All right, Kofi. <laughs> you were praying that I don't come to you. Mama? It's still my back. My back. Ever been a victim? Nope. Okay. Yeah, not yet, but then a friend has been a victim. Okay. Yeah. But then because, okay, let me start from this. There's this masculinity tag way, man. Yeah. Which makes us like very shy to voice so many things out. When you say it out, people would be like, you are not a guy. You are a guy. So, most men do get sexually abused each and every day. But then, because of this masculinity tag, they can't voice it out. Yeah, you get it. Yeah, true. So, I would say men do get sexually abused, okay. not just Women. ladies. All yes. right. Uh, let me find out from David. Okay. So, I would say yes, they do get sexually abused. Um, but what prevents them from saying it, as he said, I'd support that, is the tag of masculinity, mm. right? Also, um, mostly it affects ladies, okay? 
And when a guy voices out that you, Charlie, have been abused sexually, mm. like, ah, you say, Fabi, you enjoy that. Yeah. No one seems to take it seriously. Yeah. You get it. And, and, and it's, it's something that's really killing some, some mm. guys I know. But hey, Charlie, who is there to talk about yeah. it and help us through it? So if you had maybe a friend approach you that, Charlie, my guy, David, this matter, you don't laugh, oh, don't laugh. But Charlie, this woman almost worried me the last time I go in there. My boss, too. You see, nothing they are going to do. What you go tell her? <laughs> it's, it's tough, Dear Rani. Yeah, I've I not know. experienced that before. I I'm know. trying to I figure know. it out, to be real here. All right. Okay. Yo, Charlie. I, I, you've, made, you've made your yeah. point. Yeah. Kinsley. Go tough. Kinsley, same question, same question for you, my brother. Um, okay. Um, I'm smiling because it's kind of funny. And um, it's not funny. It's really a serious issue. Um, they do because I've experienced some before. And... Um, <laughs> you couldn't share your story? Oh, I can share it. Um, no, I mean, then. I couldn't because if I tell you, it's normal. I was expecting him to even say, if his friend comes to him and tell him, first thing you do as guy, you go laugh. <laughs> are you sure it's true? Like, are you sure? Yeah. Yes. So that's the reaction we get. Um, yeah, so let me move on to answer the question. First of all, um, it's the society, right? Um, the society, the way they take men, is that men, you don't cry, you don't shout. So you don't say this, you don't say that to a man. Take it, take it, take it. So it keeps um, piling, <laughs> you know, pressure. Yeah. And that's why you see that men, they are always thinking. Because there are some things the society does not support them to do, of which even there are laws. Oh, there are laws. But you see, when there is a law, and the law is not um, enforced for a particular set of people, yeah. it's like there's no law. Sure. Right. Sure. So that's just it. Hmm. All, right. all right. A round of applause, ladies and gentlemen, please. And by all means, those of you in the comment section, please, I think we can all, we can all together help change this narrative. Yeah, uh, as I learned on the show today myself, nobody be everything with a thick joke. You uh, have those of you making fun of it, saying that if it's me, I will go again. No, I mean, come on. We can't change the narrative with that mental attitude. Uh, Raymond, you have the final say. All right, thank you, Giovanni. Um, it's, I don't know, it shocks me, or should I say it surprises me that it's quite coincidental mm -hmm. that we are talking about this topic because at a tender age, I experienced something like that and it scarred me, mm. I mean, mentally. It actually changed the way I see women, wom like love making with a woman because. Flashbacks. You know, you know, you know, and well, I want to use this platform. Uh, thank you for, I mean, standing up for mental health. Because stuff like these are really hidden and not talk, spoken about, and Every it really affects people. It really, really affects people. At, mm. I mean, at, as at that age, who was I going to complain? I didn't even know what was going on until I grew up and I realized, okay, so these things that happened then probably is why I behaved this way. Yeah. So men do go through it, and it's not just grown men. Even at the Very tender, tender age, ages, yeah. yes, and I think it should be addressed. All right, round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah! Yes, sir. On peut couper. On peut couper. On peut couper. 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 Oh, Charlie. That's what we the tall people here. Oh, man. But, but that was a good one. That was a good one. I mean, are you sure of your choice? I'm very sure. Yeah? I'm very sure. Mm, why? I'm very sure. Okay, so. Um, I observed from the beginning, you know, um, How the confidence, mm -hmm. the choice of uh, answers. It was, it was very, very difficult, especially like, you know, the questions before this one. Okay. Um, and then for the last round, it was like, uh, some of my top members, they couldn't really think on their feet. Oh, so you still well. have some of them yet? And, and some of them this are day, we are all going out with you. <laughs> that day, we are all going out with you. Support. And I want you support. Yeah. We will support. Yeah. We will yeah. support. Yeah. 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 So, you know, there's that where, you know, some, some answers, you know, when you're answering the questions, mm -hmm. there's questions that you just want to impress. It's true. And then there are questions that, you know, it's your own reality. So it shows in your face. True. It shows your authenticness. I always go for being authentic. It's mm. not, you know, just for the show. And I think I saw that. Ah, guy. Yeah. Like, round of applause for you there. Yeah. And they buy up for the win. Okay. <laughs> so, uh, they are both going to embark on this charity uh, project yeah. together. Yeah. 
And uh, yes, the mental health issue is top priority for Abna, so definitely you're going to help out in that sure. area as well. And the good news is that our sponsors are partnering with us on this one. Awesome. So once again, a round of applause to all our proud sponsors. From Casa Preco to uh, Napam Mackerel to uh, you name them. And, and of course to Rush Energy Drink. Please, please give it up for them. Thank you.